In this video, let us see how we can create a GCP based project. This is the dashboard and we have to click on this new project to create a new project. Here we can give the project name and then the date of the project and here also we can specify the mobile number. Now let us choose the survey type and the survey method. Here I am using ground control point method and I give next. Here we have to provide the GCP details. We have to see coordinate reference system and this is the WGS84 and other is the UTM. And we can select the number of GCP. We select the number of GCPs and here we can manually enter the latitude and the longitude values and the elevation values and here we can give the label name we can give it as gcp12 etc and also we have an utm option here also we can specify the number of gcps and give the values of easting and northing and elevation and also the gcp labels we can also upload the csv files let us take a look at the sample csv files we have to open the winrar archive and then there are two files here the first one is the wgs84 file and here we have to use these headings on the top and then give the values below them similarly for the utm we have these headings and we have to use these headings at the top and then we can enter the values below these headings. And here I am changing the CRS to WGS84 and uploading the CSV file. We can upload the CSV file by clicking and opening it. Here the CSV file has been run and we can here give the label name as 1234 and we give the next button. Here we have to upload the images so that we browse the file and then we select all the images and click open and we start to upload the images and we have to wait until the image gets uploaded. The images are uploaded in the batch of 100 and the first batch is finished and now the second batch has started uploading. And here you can crop the area. Here the images are falling within the cropped area. And even if the area is large, the reconstruction would happen only to a certain extent. And if we give the area like this, then the images that are falling outside this area will not be considered for reconstruction. Now we adjust the area so that it falls inside the images extent and we save crop and if you want to upload new images we can upload new image by pressing this and selecting the image and opening it and by pressing on the images we can delete the images and also we can delete the GCP by pressing and giving this delete button. We can also upload a camel of our choice. Let's upload a camel file. Here also we have to make sure that the images fall inside the camel file and we save crop and next we move on to the GCP tab. Here we can 
find that the there are four GCPs here and each GCP point has its associated photos. And now we go to GCP1. Now let us mark the GCPs. First open the image and then using the scroll button zoom and mark the GCP point. Here we can zoom till 32x and then mark it in the middle and click this tick button. Next we can take this image and open this image. And if your scroll button is not working, then you can use this zoom button here. We can click on the image and it will zoom. And to zoom out, we can use this button. Now let us zoom and mark the GCP. We have to zoom till 32x to mark the GCP point. Now we click on the middle and click on tick. Sometimes the image may not turn green after giving the tick button. Then we can use this button to save the image. Now let us look how to delete a photo. First we have to click on the photo and then open the image. Here the GCP is present in the photo. And if a photo does not contain any GCP, then you can delete that photo. We can delete using this button. We can also delete the image in another way. That is by clicking the image and then using this button to delete the photo. You should at least mark four to five images, but it is recommended to mark six to seven images here i have fast forwarded and marked all the images and we can see that all the gcp points are turned green and we can also use this button to recalculate the images this will allow us to mark the gcp points from the beginning if we have arrived at an error and this button is used to delete the gcp point now we can see that only three GCP points are there. One we deleted and this is used for editing the GCP points. Here we can change from one coordinate system to another coordinate system. We can also add new GCP points using this button. We can select the number of GCP and we can manually enter. And also we can enter the UTM. And here we can manually enter or upload a CSV file. And this button is used to recalculate all the GCP photos. And this button is used to delete all the GCPs. These are all the functions that are available in the GCP tab. Now let's move on to the project settings. Here we can edit the project details like the survey date, the mobile number, or we even can change the survey type and survey method. And we use this button to update the edits. The last tab is the delete project and here we can delete our project and giving us will give the confirmation for deletion of the project. The final step is to start processing the photos and we have to click on this button to start processing. We will be redirected to the GCP tab and then we have to give the start processing button to ask for confirmation give S yes. and now it is in processing. And after the results are processed, a mail will be sent to your mail account. And this is how we create a GCP-based project. Thank you for watching the video.